Hi guys, hope you're having a lovely day. It is after 5 p.m. and I'm still drinking coffee. I'm just burning the midnight oil. I did still want to put together a little something today where I'm discussing brands that are on my wish list. Some of them I have shopped from in the past, but I want to revisit them while others are brand new. Today I wanted to put together a little video podcast so you can catch up with me on my podcast or you can watch this and see clips of you know more of the brands that I'm talking about here on YouTube so there's two ways to watch it it means so much to me if you could support me over on the podcast as well for those of you who are listening on the podcast I'll try to use really descriptive words involving each one of these brands and I've broken them down by category so nothing here has been sponsored and nothing has been gifted for the sake of this post but I just wanted to highlight these brands because I feel like at least several of them to my knowledge are having really excellent practices and it's worth noting so the first category is apparel and the brand that i want to highlight for apparel is quiana if you have watched my video where i showed all of the different types of white t-shirts and comparing them against each other over different sections like how opaque it is or the level of quality that I feel it is or the price point. I compared all of that and the clear winner, especially for the price point, was Quiana. I felt like their shirt was extremely soft and beautifully put together. It looked much more designer than a lot of the other shirts that I tried. And so I want to buy more from Quiana. I also couldn't hear enough great things from you guys about Quiana's bag. And I haven't tried that yet, but it is on my radar. And I just think that this brand is going to find a special place in my closet because of their level of quality. I also can't get enough of their slogan, which is welcome to fewer, better things. And that's exactly what I want for every single piece in my wardrobe. I don't want to have just pieces that are going to fall to bits. I don't like it when I find the perfect shirt and then it has little buttons on it, which easily could be damaged through a fingernail or anything like that. Like I want the pieces in my closet to stand the test of time. Moving on to shoes, I wanted to highlight a brand called Dear Francis because it seems to me like their practices are very similar to Nisolo. Most of the shoes in my wardrobe right now are from Nisolo because not only do I love their beautiful style, but I also love the fact that everything is handmade and handcrafted by generations passed down of this shoemaking process. When you do support a brand like Nisolo or Dear Francis, you're supporting a supply chain and completely revitalizing their livelihood and new people are now going to college in these families that you're supporting. That's why I'm also looking at Dear Francis because it seems like they are also supporting a multi-generational artisan factory in northern Italy. So Nisolo is Peru and uh, Dear Francis is in northern Italy. I also love the idea that their practices are more slowed down fashion so that means if I really love their shoe the chances are by the time that it wears down let's say I bought one pair and I wore it to death I could go and get another pair just like it that's really what I love so much I also love the idea of anything that's timeless enough to find a special place in my closet and always be a classic. For the record, I've only heard about this brand very recently, so I want to make a point of that because I'm still doing my research, especially with several of these brands. I'm not so familiar with them that I could give you an exact idea of what it's like to shop from them or any of the nitty gritty details about them. But a couple of shoes that I'm really eyeing from them, one is the Kick Boot. I think that it has the most adorable little kitten heel and I love the idea of having this pointed boot that's an ankle cut and I also really like a sandal from them called the rain sandal. So this looks like a shoe that is very similar to the shoe I have from by far, only this one seems to have more of a pointed heel like a kitten heel as well. The third brand I want to talk about today is for beauty. 
the brand called Lila B. This is a brand that I have shopped from in the past and I loved them. I wore them all last summer and I ended up running out of their lip cheek duo and I desperately want to have more of that. I found that I could wear it, of course, on my lips and on my cheeks. It didn't feel super satiny and glossy, which depending on your preference, you might want something that's a little bit more glossy. What I tend to do since I have more chapped lips is I like to layer on color and then maybe a little gloss on top of it. That's something you can always do, but it also worked for just adding a touch of blush to my cheeks as well or anywhere that I felt like I wanted a little bit more color. Also, I'm still working my way through their eyeshadow palette. I believe it was called Be Stunning. I actually am wearing it right now today. I loved the idea that their eyeshadow seemed to be so naturally brown it didn't seem like it had any sort of other hues to it like sometimes I'll put on brown eyeshadow and it looks pink I don't like that <laughs> and I mean sometimes there's an occasion for that where it actually works but most of the time I'm trying to just have a brown shadow so that is an absolutely beautiful color palette for your eyes overall I've been extremely happy with the Lila B brand and I want to shop more from them I find that their beauty is a little bit more on the clean side, but I'm no expert where that's concerned. Do your own research always with these brands. You guys know that Zach and I moved to Nashville and into this house back in March, and ever since then it's been super fun to make this place look the way we want it to through different furnishings, and of course I've been referencing Pinterest very heavily. You guys can follow me over at my home board. I just, I can't pin enough home things. What I really am drawn to is anything that's more like modern traditional meaning it's really going to have that shaker style to many of the furniture choices that I have one thing that I like to do with my home is to have linens especially anything that's like a natural linen I do this with my own clothes I love anything that's like linen that hasn't been bleached or dyed or anything it's just got the most beautiful natural color uh, but anything that's linen is very lovely for summertime in this Nashville heat especially I am loving linen so naturally I want to put this on my bed and so I'm on the hunt for the perfect linen sheets the splurge absolute wish list company that I would love to buy my linens through is Bella Note Linen. I first found this brand through a photographer that Zach and I both follow. She has been an inspiration for years for her beautiful aesthetics and she takes the photos for this brand Bella Note. So Elizabeth Messina is the photographer and really sorry if I'm butchering names of brands or people in this video. Again, I'm just a fan and I don't hear a lot of the names of these brands on YouTube or in a place where I can actually hear the name. So it's anybody's guess <laughs> on how you pronounce this. And if you know the right way to pronounce something, just leave it in the comments and then I'll know for future. Bella Note linens are 100% a splurge. I don't necessarily think that I will be putting these on my bed soon, but someday I would love to do this. Or maybe one day I'll have my own Airbnb that I can rent out and it can be more like high quality and then I can definitely have an excuse to have Bella Note linens. Next category is fitness. I, you guys know, I already am going to tell you I love Girlfriend Collective and I wear them almost exclusively but I want to have more than just one standard bra and leggings option because that's generally what my go-to is. I discovered another brand that I really like for fitness. It's more ballet inspired. It's more uh, Parisian. It's called E. Leoti. And I, again, I probably not saying it right. <laughs> Let's just put it out there. It's probably wrong, uh, but it's named after Ernest Leoti, who was the original corset designer from, I believe, the 19th century in France. And so a lot of the things that they make are involving active wear for a Parisian inspired look. So they've got a section that's specifically for ballet, uh, more lifestyle. They've got yoga, spinning products. So I've already picked up a couple of sports bras from them, but I need 
need to go down a size and now I know that and maybe that's helpful for you guys too but again active wear especially anything like bras is very personal and it feels like it's really depending on like your own measurements and all that so I'm just figuring that along the way with this new brand but I first heard about this brand through Brittany Bathgate she wore their corset in her Instagram photo honestly that's another shout out I want to give. Brittany Bathgate has been absolutely so killing it here on YouTube and her YouTube videos, her vlogs have been very beautiful and informative, especially about taking care of your clothes. Big fan regarding that as well, um, but I just wanted to mention this fitness brand because of their functional and effortlessly chic style. One last note about this brand is that everything is sourced from Italian textile mills and then also all the factories are in Europe. Again, I love their slogan, which is tailored activewear with a Parisian sensibility. So in a nutshell, that's that brand. All right, one more little bonus brand for you guys. I really didn't know how to categorize it because there's different things that you can shop from from this brand. It's called CGD London, and that stands for Career Girl Daily. So if you like to be organized, and especially if you just feel like you have to write things down to stay organized or motivated, then definitely shop from this brand. They have a lot of absolutely beautifully designed pieces, notebooks, Books, anything organizing that you need to have for essentials. Um, they have scheduling books, also like motivating goal books and fitness planners. I also bought a water bottle from them that measures how much water you have drank <laughs> for the day. I think they're sold out of the water bottle right now, but check back because they might restock. Anyways, I'm just really looking forward to this. I think I have the hardest time finding pretty notebooks that I like because like I've been to school for design and so if it's got bad typography it's just not something I'm gonna spend money on so I'm really proud of how all of their products are designed and I think it's actually gonna motivate me even though I generally have everything electronic I don't write down a bunch of things I mean unless it's like chicken scratch I'll write down a quick note but I think that this might actually make me more motivated to get things done or achieve some goals that I want to set for myself. One of the self-help books that I've been reading lately described how writing down your goals and making them absolutely minuscule bite size can actually let you feel like you're winning more and achieve more and get more done. So a lot of times if you're falling apart with your goals, you might just need to break it down more. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for with this brand, with the products that they make. I will keep you posted on what I think about each one of these brands. I think the easiest way that I can do that is through Instagram stories. So you can definitely follow me over on Instagram to stay posted on my reviews of each one of these brands as I try them. I might be able to try Bella Note Linens, but no promise there. I'll let you guys know on my linen in sheet hunting yeah um, you can always follow me again on pinterest for more inspiration for house stuff i will talk to you guys again soon if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked this podcast be sure to rate it and i will talk to you in the next video podcast until then have a great day bye call me crazy but it makes sense